gypsy wagon based on Rolly's original concept art for the Museum of the Weird. Dude, I have to say some things. Welcome to the Something or Other Tour. We're here at the Oceanside Museum of Art. It's in Oceanside, California. They have an exhibit about Rolly Crump, a legendary Imagineer, helped design the Haunted Mansion, Small World facade, and he was also an animator and worked on a bunch of Disney classics. The exhibit's called It's Kind of a Cute Story. I'm hoping it's cute. I've always liked Rolly Crump and his work, so this is pretty cool. We're huge Disneyland fans. I love all the old Imagineers, so we're gonna check this out. Where do you think the ladders go? Probably to the roof. They have an It's a Small World model over here. A whole model? I mean, kinda. Dude, it says name tags and stuff. It's his Imagineering badge. That's so dope. Him and Walt just having a laugh. Yeah. You know, just man. palling around. The man himself. He was showing him the small world facade model. And Walt seems to love it. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. This whole all the hundred one Dalmatians posted? Yeah, that's cool. So his whole life he wanted to work for the Disney company and it ended up being his first professional job in nineteen fifty two. Rolly Crump was known for his wildly imaginative designs and lots of loud colors and things like that. So apparently he worked on Peter Pan, so I'm wearing my Lost Boys shirt. I don't know if he worked on the Lost Boys, but he still worked on Peter Pan. Disney Legends Award, huh? Wow, okay. This guy's making moves. So these were just designs that he just did for fun. Just on his free time, I suppose. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a mishmash of text and cool designs. You can definitely see the small world influence in all this art. Very colorful, bold designs. <laughs> Some kind of tribal tiki something or others from the uh, tiki room, I think, at Disneyland, I think. Dude, the old tiki room concept art. That's cool. That's a him with some of the small models for the Museum of the Weird. This is going to be a walkthrough with all this weird art and weird setups. Is this from Small World? It is. So you like based on the designs? Yeah. Look at this guy, this guy's having a party over here. Got Tecate, <laughs> got some Jose Cuervo and some cigars. I like these like, Dia de la Muerta, Dia de los Muertos, all that, you know? See, I'm a fan of it. I like it. <laughs> That's cool. I like the one gold tooth. The old carousels used to have to grab the ring. Oh, really? You don't, you never knew that? No. I think the one at Santa Cruz, you can still do that. Yeah. So basically, as you go around, there's like a ring and you try to pull it out. Oh, okay. So it's like a game. Yeah. Dude, we can draw on this. Let's get wacky. How do folks get up there? <laughs> They're all bursting. Where's the ladder? This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> These are like advertisements for heavy drugs. Heroin, Spanish fly, opium, cocaine. Capone? Capone? I don't know what that is. Oh, it might be condoms, dude. This is extra oh, yeah, large, yeah. large, medium, small, forget it. <laughs> Guaranteed not to pop 100% rubber. 
Some pretty uh, scandalous advertising. The off-color corner. So this is more of his, uh, you know, controversial art. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy's. Come on, man. We're just trying to enjoy the museum. He's gonna just be rude to us. A lot of loving going on here. Pretty angry about it. There he is. All right. Not quite the Disney stuff. <laughs> A lot of companies that had pavilions at the 64 World's Fair tapped Disney and Disney Imagineering to design their whole pavilion. So Walt Disney was brilliant enough that he used that to make huge advancements in his ride designs and things like that. So originally, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, which included the audio animatronic technology, It's a Small World, and some of their ride vehicle system designs were originally at this World's Fair, including all the primeval world and the Grand Canyon diorama that you see on the train now. And Rolly Crump designed the Tower of the Four Winds, which stood outside It's a Small World in Flushing Meadows, New York. And then they moved Small World to Disneyland and they redid the facade, and Rolly Crump also designed that. <laughs> you know, he'll mess you up. He does. <laughs> the Tower of the Four Winds was impressive, man. This tower was so much bigger than it looks. Like, it was huge. So I guess Rolly didn't like the Tower of the Four Winds, and they have this quote here. It says, I hate to tell you, Walt, but I think it's a piece of crap. And Walt said, no, no, Roland, it can't be a piece of crap. It cost me $200,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the reason why it never showed up at Disneyland. So Walt was brilliant. He used this World's Fair to fund all his crazy ideas. <laughs> this is one of the original models of the facade for Small World. That's so cool, dude. Real Imagineer junk. That's not the one it ended up being, though, right? No, but similar. Yeah. So this is one of his designs for the Museum of the Weird. Originally, he came up with these designs when he was designing things for the Haunted Mansion. Nobody knew what to think of all these weird designs, but Walt actually really liked them. So they decided they should do a museum of the weird, either as a separate walkthrough or part of the Haunted Mansion. You like that? Yeah, it's nifty, I like it. <laughs> These are more of his museum of the weird designs. Unfortunately, Walt died before the Haunted Mansion was completed, and then the museum of the weird idea sort of faded away. So you kind of wish you could go into the alternate dimension and see if it actually came to life. Wow, oh, that's so cool, dude. I love this picture, dude. By Walt. I'm pretty sure this is from one of the Walt Disney Presents specials. Mm. Oh, dude. It's his Main Street window. Oh, that's cool. Replica of the window right above Fargo's Palm Parlor, 2009. That's cool, man. Yeah. Many of the Imagineers and people that helped build Disneyland or whatever, they memorialize them with these windows on Main Street. And this is uh, Rolly Crump's window. It's dope. <laughs> Thank you for your interest in my work, Rolly Crump. Thank you, Rolly. <laughs> all right, that's the Rolly Crump exhibit. It was amazing. If you're creative at all, or appreciate creativity, or Disneyland, you have to come check this out. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things that cool kids do. All right, you guys? I love the models. This exhibit runs until February 2018, so come on down, check her out. Did that give you a good appreciation of uh, the design that goes into Disneyland attractions? Yes, it did. Yes, right. it did. All the appreciation in the world. <laughs> that was cool. I, I, enjoyed, it? I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. These e-ticket magazines are fantastic. I have like the whole collection. If you like Disneyland, well worth buying. <laughs>